In this video, I'm going to show yet another example of how our told history is coded by the system of Gematria. And if you don't know what Gematria is, I'll leave a link in the description so you can apply this knowledge for yourself and get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. But Gematria is the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases, and it is literally all over everything, all throughout our told history. Our media articles are always scripted with Gematria. Our sports leagues are scripted this way. That's why they have certain numbers in films and whatever else, because it corresponds to Gematria. That's why, you know, the Hebrew alphabet has a number that is assigned to it, to each letter, just like the Greek alphabet has a number assigned to the letter and whatever else. So anyway, I was looking back at some of my old research where I talked a lot about the letter X and how X represents time. And, you know, even think about it in multiplication, you know, you say, you know, five times, four times four or whatever, you know, it's time, right? X is time. And X in Gematria also equals 144. If you write out the word time in Jewish Gematria, which a lot of this Gematria goes back to, you know, Hebrew and the Jews. But anyway, let's find Jewish Gematria really quick so I can show you here. Time equals 144. So it's super important. And a long time ago, I was talking about X-rays, right? And on an X-ray, you see inside of yourself. And in... Luke, in the New Testament, it says that the kingdom of God is within you, right? So you see inside yourself, the kingdom of God is within you. And even if you write out within you, the way it says, it equals 144, you know? Going back to that number, that number is important to the Bible as well. Or think about Revelation, the 12 tribes times 12,000. 12 times 12 is 144,000. The New Jerusalem is 144 cubits. So anyway, I, for whatever the reason, I remembered the Cairo, this symbol right here that was used by Constantine, it has the X on it, right? And I even talked about how the X is sideways. And you think about if you raise it, if you raise it this way, it looks like the cross, right? X rays, R-A-I-S-E rays. So a bunch of other stuff Whatever. I, I just want to show, I wanted to show why I relooked the symbol up, and I want to show you the gematria that it syncs up to. So, the, the history in regards to this symbol connects back to Constantine the Great. And he's the one who signed the Edict of Milan that protected Christians way back in the early days. And he also put this on all of his military stuff because he was questioning the thought of other people worshiping more than one god or whatever. And then when he decided to, to worship one god, he had a vision, and it told him to put, Jesus told him to put this on all of his military stuff, and, you know, he would win the battle or whatever. And that's what happened. That's what, that's what we're told, at least, you know. And just think about that in regards to Jesus anyway. You know, he's supposed to be this, you know, he doesn't, want people to kill themselves and whatever else, why would he come and tell this guy, put this on your thing and you can win the battle? Wouldn't he be the one trying to stop all battles to begin with? It doesn't even make that much sense to me, I guess. You know, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Why Why would this good guy, Jesus, tell, tell Constantine in a vision to put this on all of his military stuff so he can, you know, win the battle and kill people and everything else? It doesn't make that much sense, right? And then think about the name of it, the Chi Rho, C-H-I, this is pronounced Chi and Rho, Chi Rho. Think about how that ties back to Egypt, Cairo, Egypt. You know, Cairo, Egypt and Gematria even has a connection to Jesus Christ. Cairo, Egypt equals 151 in reverse and Jesus Christ equals 151. So, you know, just interesting how a lot of this stuff... And a lot of our, you know, think about all of the famous musicians and everything else. They're always dressing up in Egyptian stuff. There's all kinds of Egyptian things that, you know, all around us every single day. 
There's even like at my job, there's some smart water type stuff. And I can't remember what it's called right now. It's it's somewhat new. And then they got they got the, you know, the this on it. It's like it's so obvious, you know, but anyway, moving on. In regards to Gematria and this Cairo, I noticed that Cairo and Gematria it equals 43. Jesus Christ also equals 43. Let's look at Jesus Christ here again. Jesus Christ, 143. If you just read out Jesus, it equals 61 in reverse. And I mean, so look at that. Cairo equals a lot, has three numbers that coincide with Jesus and Jesus Christ. The 61 number, though, it's all about time. And that's what's interesting in regards to this X on there. So Cairo equals 61. Jesus equals 61. God and Jewish gematria equals 61. Holy Spirit equals 61. Christian equals 61. Church equals 61. Sins equals 61. Cross equals 61. The word time equals 61. And if you're not a keeper of time, it also equals 61. And the word bull equals 61. Saturn, who is the keeper of time, is the bull god, right? So how interesting. Time, the keeper of time. And bull all equals 61, coinciding with Saturn. And, you know, people talk about Saturn's cube, right? And just think about that in regards to the Bible and the New Jerusalem being the cube, right? 144 cubits. Just interesting stuff. Also, I noticed, I pointed out that bull equals 187 in Satanic Gematria, just like the word time in Satanic Gematria. And just like Society of Jesus and the reverse method. And Society of Jesus, super connected as well, you know. Also in regards to the symbol, so it looks like an XP. If you write out XP in Gematria, it equals 40. And if you write out the word 61, it equals 40. It's just like XP, you know. So Cairo equals 61. If you write out 61... It equals 40, just like what the symbol is, X and P. Also, this number 88 is special in regards to time. Think about Back to the Future, and they have to go 88 miles an hour to time travel. The 8, the eight alone represents infinity on its side, right? The never-ending cycle, right? Infinity just keeps on going. And it also represents the Ouroboros or whatever, the, the snake that eats its own tail and a bunch of other things. So in regards to 88, though, it's four circles and each circle is 360 degrees and four times 360 is 1,444, a lot like 144. And there's 1,440 minutes in a day, the word time 144. You know, a lot of the stuff, it all goes back to time. Very interesting. But if you look up the popes, the 88th pope was Pope Constantine, right? So just interesting, the 88th pope named Constantine. If you write out Constantine in Gematria, it equals 44. And if you write out 44, it equals 144. And also I pointed out the word Catholic equals 71. And if you write out 71, it equals 144. And the letter X equals 144. The, you know, the crosses, the, the X, multiplication equals times, just like I said. So, you know, interesting how it all, how it all goes back to time and whatever else. Just wanted, just wanted to point out all these interesting connections, you know, because this is all about Christianity. It equals 61, just like Christian, church, Jesus, God, Holy Spirit. Also, I noticed that uh, Constantine calls it the Liberum, and that equals 313 in Satanic Gematria. But 313, the year, was also the year that he did the Edict of Milan, right? Protecting Christians. And 313 is also important to Pope Francis, who became the Pope on 313 of the year 13. 313 of 13. It's, you know, an important day. If you write out the Mark of the Beast in Gematria, which is 600, 3 score, and 6. It also equals 313, also 133, 
a lot like March 13th, right? 13 slash 3 or 3 slash 13. So I'll just click on this here, the Edict of Milan, 313 AD, and it was with Constantine. I also noticed his his birthday. It says that he died at the age of 65, which is fitting for him to turn to a Christian because the word Christianity equals 65. And 313 is the 65th prime number. Fitting he would do something, the Edict of Milan in the year 313, to protect Christianity, right? Christianity equals 65. Roman Emperor, what, which what he was, equals 65. And Roman Emperor in Jewish gematria equals 511, just like Saturn. Saturn equals 511 in Jewish gematria. The word Roman equals 61, just like Cairo, God, Jesus, and so on. And I noticed he was also born on 27 slash 2 in the year 272, right? How fitting. It's always by the numbers. Our told history, always by the numbers. 27 slash 2 in the year 272. So I looked up the First Council of Nicaea then, and it says that it's traditionally recognized that 318 people attended. How fitting for stuff I've been documenting all year and whatever else. And it's also fitting with Constantine's birthday. It could be 27 slash 2 or 2 slash 27. If you take 22 and divide it by 7, it equals 3.14, like pi. And think about pi in regards to cycles and circles. That's why history repeats itself. And that's why Saturn is the Lord of the Rings. Because it's a circle, right? That's why 88 is so important and also the number 8. So anyway, you get pi. But if you do that backwards and you take 7 divided by 22, you get 0.318. Right? So now 318 people attended the First Council of Nicaea. Also in the New Testament, supposedly the return of Jesus is mentioned 318 times. And if you've ever watched the TV show Touch with Kiefer Sutherland, they they follow the God sequence that begins with the number 318, and it ends with the number 318. And it's the God sequence. 318, March 18th, is the 77th day. The word Christ equals 77. And Bull God also equals 318 in Satanic Gematria. Think about that. Once again, Saturn is the Bull God. It all goes back to that. Kabbalah equals 318. That's what, you know, Gematria comes from is Kabbalah, the belief that God created, merged the letter with the word. And, you know, that's where Gematria comes from. And then, you know, just other things in regards to the Bible, the Bible, right? The two sections of the bull, bull. It all goes back to all of that, you know? So, I guess I just wanted to document some interesting things I noticed in regards to Constantine, how it connects to time, and Saturn is the keeper of time. And it, it just doesn't make any sense anyway. Why would they, you know, we're told that Jesus is this good person and everything else, and then he comes to Constantine and tells him that it's okay to kill people, and he wants him to put the symbol on there because he's going to win the battle if he does. You know, and then he does. So, and, and then Cairo is just an instant dead giveaway if you just sound it out and think about it. So, hopefully that makes sense. Check out the links in the description. I have tons of other videos, and I'll leave a link to my blog. And, you know, there, there's just so much more. There's always more information to learn, and, you know, our history just always coded this way. You know, it's probably, actually, you know what, thinking about it, let's look up Julius Caesar really quick, because, you know, I know I've documented about Julius Caesar dying by the numbers as well. What did he die? I'm trying to think, did he die age 44 or in the year 44? Let me find it here. He died age 55 in the year 44 on the Ides of March, and right away, the word God equals 55, the word Satan also equals 55, and if you write out Julius, Julius equals the same as Jesus Christ, and Caesar also equals the same thing as Jesus Christ, and think about his name, J.C., 
right? J.C., Jesus Christ, Julius Caesar. And if you write out Ides of March, it equals 61, just like this number that goes back to time. And he died in the year 44. And remember, if you write out 44, it equals 144. So clear back to even Julius Caesar, it was coded with the same system, you know? So we'll leave it at that. Just wanted to show one more example. I remembered something to do with 44 of Julius Caesar. And then uh, I noticed the Ides of March also equals 61. It's connected to time. So have a good one. Peace.